it's too late for my city. I'm the youngest nigga rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. I'm on verse, I'm on tour. Got a girl, she from the south. Used to work, used to dance and taste it. Watches for the new Maybelline Color Sensational Rebel Bloom lipsticks. Whew. Can we just say that was a mouthful? This is a brand new collection that Maybelline came out with to kick off the spring season for 2015. And let me just say, they kind of hit the nail on the head. Concept of these Rebel Bloom lipsticks is there are pastel colors. And I don't know about you, but like spring is that time of year where I just go crazy in the pastel department. I really like a good pastel lip color mostly. I don't necessarily do it on the eyes. I like to do it on the lips mostly. And I love it during the springtime because it kind of just brightens up your face, but yet still gives you like a bold statement at the same time. And I just really like pastels in the spring. When you think of spring, you automatically automatically think of pastel colors. We also seen the pastel trend kind of trend into the winter um, season which was kind of great. It was only there for like a brief moment and then like it kind of left. Um, but I really like pastels in the spring. I think it's a classic trend and I don't think it will ever go out of style because every time you think of spring you think Easter and you think pastel colors and it just it it what can I say? are 10 lip colors in the collection I do own all 10 but you do not have to get all 10 um I am going to actually show you the ones that I personally like but of course it all depends on you lipsticks are really so personal um so it doesn't really matter what I think what may work for me may not work for you and what works what doesn't work for me may work for you so Lipsticks are very personal, so I'm not telling you that this is these are the colors you should get, but what I'm saying is these are the colors that I personally like and that I would probably recommend. First one, okay, you guys should really know which color I'm going to recommend to you. It is Rose Rush. I absolutely love this color. You know I've been rocking the pastel red lip for like weeks on end now, and I don't know what it is, but when I think of a pastel red, this is the color that pops in my head. It is just the perfect pastel red. I can't even describe it any more than that. Um, it is one of my favorite reds right now. I also really like blushing, bro blushing, bleh, blushing bud. I really like this color because it actually fits my skin tone versus barely bloom. It's more, it's like barely bloom, but it's a little bit deeper. Um, well, a whole lot deeper than barely bloom. Um, Barely Bloomed is one of those colors where, like, it will work better for someone of the fairest of skin tones. Um, but if you're a little bit more olive and on the golden and deeper side, you'll probably appreciate Blushing Bud versus Barely Bloomed. Because if you've seen in the lip swatches, Barely Bloomed does not work for your girl, okay? It's just, I looked very ashy. 
lips are really really like peach poppy I don't own a peach lipstick which I thought was kind of weird because I could have sworn I owned a peach lipstick but I don't own a lot of peach lip colors and so this is kind of like my only peach lip color and it looks so good on me I didn't think this color will work because I thought it would be a little bit too bright um but it's nice it's like a nice peachy nude color that, that works for like my skin tone um so if you're my skin tone or a little bit deeper you might actually like this a lot I have to mention this one and this one is lilac flush it is like the perfect lavender lilac color and I'm one of those type of people who really likes a good purple lipstick and I'm always in the hunt for like a good purple lipstick I just can't pick up any purple because some purples don't work on me but I've been, for some reason, I have been on the hunt for a lavender lipstick. I don't know what that's about. Don't ask me. I don't know. But I've been on a hunt for, like, a good lavender lipstick. And I think I found it in Lilac Flush. It is just, like, the perfect lavender for me. It's not too pale. And it's not too, too deep. It's kind of, like, right in the middle. And it's just, I, I like this color a lot. I would still put a, like, a dark, like, a purple lip liner on and kind of ombre it a little bit. Um, but I've been really liking this one a lot. Another purple that I really like that I can just like throw on and go with no problem and it's a little bit more deeper. I like to call this my sassy purple. Um, it is Orchid Ecstasy. It is just an orchid color. Not even orchid. It's more like a violet purple. Um, this is my sassy color. Um, I like to wear when I'm feeling a little sassy. If red is not doing it for me, I usually go for purple. Um, and this is the kind of purple that I actually like. And Orchid Ecstasy looks really, really close to Hot Plum from the Neon Collection. But Hot Plum is a little bit deeper and richer. And this one is a little bit more light. So, if you have the Hot Plum, um, you don't have to get Orchid Ecstasy. But I do recommend Orchid Ecstasy. I also like Hibiscus Pop because it is just one of those really pretty pinks. That is like a neutral pink. Not even neutral. It's like a true pink. Um, it's not too cool and it's not too warm. It's like right in the middle. Like a true pink. And it kind of works for me. Um, I thought it wouldn't work, but I was shocked. And I also really, really like Coral Burst. Even though Coral Burst is a little bit too light and bright for my liking and I will probably pick up Shocking Coral versus this. I do like Coral Bursts a lot. I might mix the two to kind of get it like a happy medium color. But Coral Burst is a really pretty color to just brighten up your look. I really like corals more towards in the summertime versus spring. But I might wear Coral Burst a lot in the springtime just because it's a little bit more lighter. Um, so, yeah. I like Para Peony a little bit, but it is a little bit more of a purpley pink, um, and I don't really do purpley pinks like that, but I like it a little bit, um, I just wanted to give that an honorable mention. Let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is totally different. When you when we had the mattes, it was like a frosted glass. When we had the neons, it was like a bright red glass. Now that we have the blooms, there are like a... Radiant Orchid, which would have been so perfect last year, um, when they, they should have launched this last year with the Radiant Orchid, um, packaging, and it would have been so perfect, but neither, neither less, I really did like the Radiant Orchid trend, and I was kind of so sad to see it go, so I'm glad I kind of have, like, pieces of it still, and I just really like the packaging, it's really girly, it's really fresh, and it's purple, and it's not, like, the normal pinks, it's, like, already orchid purple and I really do like it a lot <laughs> so all in all I really do enjoy these rubble bloom lipsticks I love the fact that they are not as opaque as the other color sensational lipsticks because of the fact that they are pastels and you can go so wrong with pastels really really quickly they can either be too loud too light too bright and just do and it gives off the wrong effect that you're trying to give off um so I like the fact that they're not as opaque um, which means they are very very buildable and you can build um, upon it to get the opaque and the intensity that you want um, so I like that aspect about these rubble bloom lipsticks I would really really like to hear from you guys I need y'all to sound off in the comments like usual which one of these rubble bloom lipsticks was your favorite leave it in the comment section below 
Also, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more fun videos like this. I try to post on a daily, so make sure you are subscribed to my channel to get notified when I post a video. Post a video? What? <laughs> post a video up on my channel. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media sites, including Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know the drill. Go ahead, and all of it will be in the description box below. And then that, that's all I tell you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!